Hopefully we got this set up. Should be going live. I need to basically send this email out. Hey, what's going on? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tony from how to buy and sell your cars.com. And I'm very, very, very excited to get started with this. Uh, this is the very first, it might be the second live stream. I tested it out a while back and uh, haven't been doing them. But now I want to get back into this and basically do a live stream every single week. So you can expect to come back at this time every single week um, or later. We're probably going to be doing these every Wednesday or every Thursday night unless otherwise noted. All right, so stay tuned and look out for this channel every Wednesday or Thursday live on YouTube. We're going to be teaching you and giving you some strategies on how to buy and sell cars for profit. Does that sound good? Excellent. What's up, UK? We're part of London, brother. I'm going to be covering all kinds of amazing strategies on here. How does the video audio sound and how's the video coming in? This is live right now from Texas. Uh, no BS, fully live. And I just want to make sure the audio and the video coming out is doing, sounds good. So just give me a quick, uh, yo bro, where do you get your parts? Just give me a quick audio check and video check. Does the audio sound good and does the video sound good? I just want to make sure you guys are hearing me and the video is good. Give me a thumbs up or say everything's all good and let me know. All right, and then we're going to get into some pretty good strategies on flipping cars to profit. Mostly, awesome, thank you, Arash. Mostly, we're going to be covering your questions. So if you have any questions with buying and flipping cars to profit, how to get over the mental blocks of getting onto the game, uh, which is very, very important, and, and more, you know, because ultimately, why are we doing this, right? We're doing this to live a better life, am I correct? And this is going to be an interactive training, so I really want you to play full out, okay, and type in the chat and communicate with me, because the more you give me, the more I can give back to you. And that's why I'm here is because I want to give back to you. I want to start doing these weekly shows from now on and really be committed to it. So my commitment is going to be your commitment as well, um, participating and, uh, and playing full out. Does that sound okay? So you guys can say, yeah, that sounds great. Uh, I really, really uh, appreciate it. So for all the new guys coming on here, we're doing a live YouTube streamcast every single Wednesday or Thursday night around this time or later, all right? So it's going to be 9 to 10 o'clock uh, p.m. Uh, New York time, all right? Where do I buy my parts? What kind of parts are you looking for? Like car parts or, or what? You got to be more specific. I buy my car parts all over. I get them off eBay if it sounds good. I go to rockauto.com if it sounds good. Um, I go to my local O'Reilly, I go to Checkers, I, where, wherever there's a parts store and I can get a good deal, that's where I get my parts. All right. I mean, it depends on what kind of parts you're looking for. Are you looking for body parts? You go to your local junkyard. Uh, mechanical, you can get a junkyard too. You know, what kind of stuff are you looking for, right? Awesome, awesome. So, you guys want to like check out the tour of my shop here? So this is my little shop. You don't need one of these, okay? You don't need to have a shop that looks like this with a car lift and all. You could start out, you know, I started out in my mother's garage uh, when I just started out. Uh, but right here, you could see that I uh, recently invested in a Mobileman lift. Now I can park some of my cars like this. I can go underneath. I could do a little bit of work on them a lot easier than being under a car if you're doing mechanical fixes and under a creeper with the oil pan four to six inches across your, you know, in front of your nose. But you could see that this bumper has been painted before, right? Because you could see the overspray underneath here. They didn't do a really good job. 
Um, you can see some of the clear coat is very dry in some areas here. All right, I don't know how the, the camera quality is, but that's going to be all improved upon. Um, I got a super awesome camera being delivered in the next couple of months. So we are actually going to uh, start experimenting with that as well. Uh, what's the most common car mechanical problem? Well, now let me just let me just clarify here. A lot of you guys on here, are you guys looking to get into buying and selling cars for profit? Yes, no? Type in the chat, let me know. How much does it cost to buy your first car? Uh, it, it all depends, you know. If you're getting into this and you're totally brand new, um, like when I got started, I was, you know, I was young. I was 21 going to the auctions, but before that, I was actually, how old was I? I was 15, 16 years old when I started buying and selling cars for profit. And um, I was so young, I couldn't go to the auctions. So, uh, you know, I grew up kind of in the automotive space. My dad had a body shop for 20 years by the time I was, you know, in my, in my early teens, you know, 13 years old. And um, I grew around all of that. So I used to go to the auctions with his partner um, when I was like 16, 17. And there was a pre-auction day where you could go and view the cars. And then the next day, the auction day, he would just go and bid on the cars for me. So that's how I would buy cars. And um, I'd basically redo them at the shop and then sell them. But when first starting out with my story is... You know, I would buy cars and, and it was a mental block. I used to think that, you know, in order for me to buy and sell cars, I have to get cars that need a lot of work, right? And I used to think that, you know, so every time I bought a car, maybe I had to replace an axle, maybe I had to paint the car, maybe I had to do a full detail to it inside and outside. It was like a lot of work, right? But I'd feel good inside because I basically did a service. I took a, a beater car. I spruced it all up, so to say, fixed all the stuff, and I sold it for profit, right? But after, after a couple of years, I was like, man, why am I getting all these cars that need so much work, right? So I started searching, and I started changing the way I bought and sold, and I started buying cars that needed less work. And then I started getting deals on cars that maybe just needed a light detail, no mechanical problems, right? A light detail inside, outside, clean it up and flip it, get it out the door, right? That's how I started making more money with less work. And let me tell you, once I did that, I started doing easy five-figure months in profit, flipping cars for profit. And you could absolutely do this. How much does it cost to buy your first car? All right, getting back to that question, if you're brand new starting out, you can get started with around a thousand bucks. I would say nowadays a thousand to fifteen hundred. If you have that much to play with, you could get started flipping cars for profit. And you're, you're gonna, you're not gonna get newer cars, right? It's 2016 now. You want to get something at least. You want to stay in the 10 year range, right? So you want to stay within 2006 and up. But with a thousand dollars, that's going to be a little bit difficult. You may be in the, the late 90s, right? You may be looking at 95, 98, 99 era cars, which are still good, right? There's a tons of 98 Toyota Corollas, 90. I, I, I was just in Mexico not too long ago and I bought a 1996 Toyota Camry and the freaking thing was in great shape, right? And I was riding around with that in Mexico for two months, right? So you can get started with on a small budget, but the sweet spot is basically around $2,500 buy range, okay? $2,500 buy range. So you go out, you're looking at cars in the $3,500 to $4,000 listing price range, and then you go negotiate, and then you go buying closing deals for like $2,500, you know, $2,200. You do a couple spruces to it, and then you sell those cars for like, 4400 bucks, you know, 4550. And that's the that's the range. If you're buying and selling in the $6,000 and low range, right? You're going to flip a lot. You you're going to you're going to appeal to the masses, right? You want to appeal to the masses, the people who have 
five, six, seven grand who just want to get a beater, you know, uh, college kids, young kids, people that just want a car, okay? Any advice on shipping overseas? I'm opening a used car dealership in South Florida. Okay, shipping overseas from where? What countries are best and is it worth it? Um, you know, it depends if you're niching down and you want to specialize in some sort of Japanese import game. That's the real only thing I can think about. I know Japan in general as a country are importing a lot of cars from Russia. Okay, so there's a big market with Japan and Russia. There's a big market with USA and Japan, right? A lot of the guys like the Toyota Supras, uh, the Hachiroku, the Toyota Corollas, uh, all the drift cars, right? Uh, the GTRs, those are famous in the drift scene. So if you're niched, right? If you're specializing in a market and you want to get in, compete, and dominate, yes, there is a lot of opportunity. Um, I recently invested in a Japanese car myself and I got the thing coming in from Osaka, Japan. It's being put on the ship on Je June 27th of this month and I'm going to be getting it. No, no, it's going out next month. I'm getting it the first week of August. So it's a long, long thing. You know what I mean? So I'm actually, I, I'm actually bringing in a, a mini truck from Japan. Pretty cool. So there's a, there's a market with that stuff as well. Um, luxury cars to China. Uh, luxury American muscle to Japan is huge. That I know. I got somebody that is trying to get talk to me on Skype. Uh, American muscle in Japan. So I'm actually headed out to Japan within the next couple of weeks and I'm actually going to be meeting the guy where I bought my cars, an Italian guy from Italy in Japan wholesaling cars to America. Pretty crazy, right? So I'm going to be meeting that guy in Osaka when I go there uh, in the next couple of weeks and uh, just feel out his business model, see what he's doing, you know, just, just learn from him and see what he's doing. Um, but I do know that there's a big market uh, for the J the rich Japanese in Japan, they like American muscle cars. So I may be dipping into some opportunity with that here, buying off of eBay, getting good deals off of eBay, or just private private sales around town, and um, and shipping them over to to Japan. All right, uh, let's see. Do you do any any work or just buy low on Craigslist? It depends. It depends on the deal, right? Sometimes people don't know what they have and they're selling these cars on Craigslist. You'll get an old lady, right? Doesn't know she has a collector Mazda Miata or a Toyota Supra or whatever, right? And they just, they don't know the value. They go by Blue Book and sometimes Blue Book doesn't correctly value collector cars, right? So it'll say like, you know, value 2,500 and they just list it at that when it's really valued at five grand. That's where you can go in and scoop the deals. That's why I say it's very, very, very important if you're in this game and you really want to do it, right? You got to be on Craigslist every day. I mean, how do you think I do it, right? You have to treat it as something that you want to make money with, right? You can't just look on Craigslist for a half hour one day. Ah, oh, I don't find any deals. And... Just freaking say, oh, there's no deals. Forget it. I'm not going to buy and sell cars for profit. I mean, do you think that's how the world works? I mean, you got to put in some, some work to find the deals, to get the deals. You know what I mean? So you got to be dedicated. You got to be on two times a day, maybe even three times a day. Get on for a half hour and check the newest listing. Scour it because thousands of cars are being listed every single day from private party people you're bound to get a deal and you have to be fast. I don't know if you saw my last video, but I just did a video um, reviewing a VIP member. He invested in my F1 uh, Auto Cash Formula program and uh, he's doing really good. He's making a ton of money and he found another deal that he wanted me to just check really quick. And that, that's part of the critiques that I do. So if you join my How to Buy and Sell Cars program, I give you three critiques. Basically, you can show me the ads that you're posting. I will basically 
you know, give you my feedback on video. I'll record it, send you that so you can learn from it and have like a, a guiding reference for yourself. Or if you want me to review a car that you're looking at, I'll do that as well. So that's really, really cool. And he's taking advantage of that. You know, I give that away absolutely free as a bonus to all the people who invest in the program. But not everybody takes advantage of it. Every once in a while, I'll get people who really take advantage of it. And that's what I want because it benefits you, right? I want to... It benefits you. Uh, do you get insurance for every car that you buy? That depends, all right? Um, that depends if you are doing a total flip where you're going to register it under your name, okay? And in most states, it has to be, you have to show you have insurance to get it registered, okay? You have to show insurance to get it registered. So, so yeah, so... Basically, if you get an insurance, you just call insurance. Car. Hey, I just bought this used car. Um, I want to get insurance on it. And just get insurance on it. Get the cheapest coverage on it, right? You don't have to get comprehensive full coverage because you paid for the car cash. It's not on a lien. It's not a brand new car. You could just get the basic insurance. Probably going to be a hundred bucks for a six-month term for you. But you know, if it's on and off within a week or two, it's going to hardly cost you anything. Okay? And there's tons of insurance companies out there. So. You could switch and use a bunch of different ones. Okay, let me see. And that's how you do it. Hi, Tony. Hey, guys. Lucky I read my email about this YouTube Live. Yeah. Are you guys liking this so far? Give me some feedback. Hit the like button on YouTube below. Give me some feedback. This is an interactive training. I want to do this live weekly and help you guys out. All right? That's what I want to do. I want to do these live weekly so I can help you guys out. Uh, build a community around this. I've been away for a while and this is my passion. I love doing this. I love finding deals. I'm a car nut. You know, I am a total car nut. I mean, look at look at some of the cars and I have a garage down there with a couple of other cars. Um, I'm looking to get another BMW M3. This is a 2000 up here. What we got up here is a 2000 Z3 M edition. Okay. Uh, I'm the second owner, right? It has 38,000 original miles. 38,000 original miles, and it's a 2,000. All right, that's like unheard of. I've never seen any other Beamer uh, for sale for less than that, like, like lower mileage, all right? And if you do, they're like $30,000. This thing, I got it for thirteen five. Okay, and right now I saw one on eBay the other day. Um, I think it had like 55,000 miles. They're asking $24,000 for it. 24 grand. I got this for 13.5, uh, second owner. And yeah, yes, yes, the front has been painted. Okay, whatever, regardless. The front needs work. Big deal, right? We do a good job. We take this out off, right? We get some lacquer thinner. We clean the overspray off. We do a professional job to it. So this way, if we ever sell it, it's going to look original. All right? The back bumper needs to be painted as well. It looks like it was touched up. But, uh, and, and that's the good thing about learning a different skill. You know, learning auto body and paint on the side. Learning how to paint the bumper in your garage. Because it can be done. You know, people think they need a spray booth and a professional garage, blah, blah, blah. I painted this custom Miata right here in this garage. I've been doing auto body work since I was 14 years old. And all the body shops around me who couldn't afford spray booths sprayed right in the garage. Okay? Right in the garage. Hosed it down. As long as it's clean, you got some vents blowing out. You freaking paint it right there. No big deal. Right? No big deal. If you get a little bit of dust, hey, you're going to polish it and do some color sanding and buffing anyway, right? It's going to come out clean anyway. I mean, look at the shine on this thing. And I didn't even buff the car out yet. I did a complete custom paint job on this Miata, and uh, it's not even done. I still have to basically color sand it and buff it out. I did the graphics on the side. So if you guys want to learn more about DIY Auto Body, Check out my other website, which is, has thousands of people around the world. We have over 100,000 email readers. And um, you could learn exactly how to basically do your own little body repairs. 
and put the money in your pocket because if you're buying and selling cars for profit, right, at some point you're going to find a really good deal, right? But the car needs a paint job or the car needs the hood painted, right? So you either have two options, do it yourself or go to a local cheap Korean Chinese body shop or Filipino body shop, right? Wherever, wherever you go, we got these oriental body shops, right? Or hillbilly body shops, right? Cheap. You're going to spend three to five hundred bucks to get a panel painted or you spend a hundred bucks, you sand it down and you shoot it yourself in the in your garage and you pocket the other four hundred. It's up to you, right? If you're doing this to get into it, I mean, it's it's a no brainer to learn to add some extra skills to your tool belt to make you more money. Am I do, am I does it do I make sense here or no? Right. So. It's Listen, in life, you have to invest in yourself. The more you invest in yourself, the more you could do for yourself, for your family, for everything, right? It's constant learning. Anyway, I got on a little rant. Hope you guys are liking this. So we're going to probably limit this thing to 30 minutes uh, every week. Um, you know, we got another 10 minutes or so. I'll, I'll get to more questions right here in just a little bit. Um, but if you're liking this, please click the button below and hit like. Um, comment below. Yes, I go to Mannheim. I go to, I go to Co Copart. Uh, I used to do a lot of online auctions. But, you know, it's, it's hit and miss with online auctions. So I kind of stopped. Um, unless you go to the physical auction... Right, unless you go, unless like you do IAAI online, right? With IAAI online, insurance auto auctions, you could basically see what you got online. You could go to the field, right? If you're in the local area, actually go take a look at the car, and then if it checks out in physical form, then you go back home and bidding day, you could just stay home and bid, right? I do that a lot, right? So that's how you do it. Also, eBay is a great place. I got this Miata off eBay. Um, that was a, I think it was a, this, I think, I'm pretty sure that was a single owner. Like, I'm the second owner on that. The BMW had two owners, so I'm the third owner on the BMW. So, I mean, not bad. Uh, most people I see on Craigslist are flippers. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter, okay? There's going to be flippers in, on, in every city, in every town, Okay? Who cares, right? Who? I mean, either you're going to complain and say, oh, there's flippers on Craigslist. I used to buy cars from flippers on Craigslist, right? Knowing that they're a flipper, right? And do a better job in advertising the car and reflip the car on Craigslist again and still make money. So it doesn't matter. It's funny. It's funny. Like... <laughs> It happened to me a handful of times where I, I'll see the same number I buy from a flipper and he kind of knows I'm a flipper. So we negotiated a deal. So I bought a car. I ended up making $1,000 more buying it from a flipper and me reselling it on Craigslist. Again, I made 1000 bucks in between, middleman, whatever. Well, you know what? You know, it depends on the flipper, right? You could make friends with other flippers. Hey, don't be so... Don't be so, you know, when it comes to competition, right, you can use competition to motivate you, to inspire you, to learn from them, to partner from them, right, and to collaborate because you are in the same business. I mean, when you go to the auctions, right, there's flippers all around you. You're the same homies. When I go to the auctions, I got Alex over here, I got Brandon, we're all doing the same thing. So when you see them on Craigslist selling their car, I mean, what the hell? Alex doesn't do body work, right? He used to give me all of his jobs. I just stopped doing that because I don't like doing, I don't do, I don't like doing work from other people anyway, right? I just do my own deals. You know, I used to, at a point years back, I used to do flippers cars for them, you know, frame damage stuff. Plus, like they go to auction, Alex would be like, yo, I got this 2008 Grand Dam. It only has 2,000 miles on it, front smashed. It needs a hood, needs a light, needs a radiator support. 
uh, and needs the front to be painted. How much? Boom, I charge him 2500 He buys the car for 3500 but he sells it for like nine, ten grand, right? Blows it out, even though it has a salvage title, right? He blows it out. So, you know, you're all in the same game anyway. So if you could befriend some and find deals together and uh, tow yards are a great place. You go to, you make friends with tow truck companies. Hey, this is, listen to this. You are really, all of this, you're in the people's game, right? You're, we're in the relationship business, whether you like it or not, right? And this life thing, this thing called life, we're in the relationship business. You need to expand your network, okay? Rich people build networks, okay? Poor people go look for a job, all right? You need to just think of what I just said. Rich people build networks. Poor people go look for a J-O-B, okay? So you think of that. You have to be open. Don't be so shut out to competitors. Um, make connections everywhere you go. Befriend people. Be nice. Just like I say in my email. You know, I wrote this one email. I don't know if you got the email, but just imagine going to a friend's house, right? You go to your friend's house. He has a, a iron screen door, okay, at his house. He opens the door and he, a big pit bull like comes to the door and like, woo, 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 like trying to get you, right? You're like, oh shit. You're like, oh man, like you're trying to hold the door so the dog don't come through, right? You're like, do something with your dog, bro. Do something with your dog, right? So it immediately you like back off. Like people are like that. People have personalities like dogs, right? Now imagine the same scenario. You go to your friend's house. He opens the door and the dog's like, like all happy, tongue wagging out, you know, tail waggly and uh, just happy to see you, wanted to jump on you, right? It's the first impression, right? It's, it's, it's very, very important. Same thing when you're networking with people. You know, don't, I know it's hard. Everybody judges a book by the cover, right? It's hard, but who, who are you to judge anyway, right? We, all of us, we don't have the right to judge anybody, right? So be optimistic, be happy, befriend people, be cool. And what's most important is always be willing to serve. Because if you help people and if you show them that you're, you're here to help them or anything I could do to help you, bro, let me know, you're cool, right? They're going to want to help you back. It's, it's called reciprocity, right? If, you do, if you're cool with people, you help people out, they're going to want to do the same for you. So that's how you meet people and network and expand and, and, and build in the business. And once your name gets out there, people know you, oh, Tony, yeah, Tony buys and sells. Let me ask him if he has another car for sale right? He could probably get you a good deal on it, right? And build the reputation of selling good cars, not pieces of shit, right? And yeah, I might have sold a handful of pieces of shit in the past, right? We all did. But try to, you know, get into cars that you're not doing any shenanigans with and then sell it and hope the guy never calls you back, right? You can sleep well at night. <laughs> anyway, you guys liking this so far? Give me a thumbs up if you're liking this. Attitude is going to determine your success. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, share the channel. Invite your friends next time. Um, I'm going to give a lot of cool information. I hope you liked what we talked about tonight. Um, it's getting close to 30, 30 minutes here. Um, in Florida, flipping California, hell damage. Hell damage cars. What about hell damage? I mean, nothing wrong with hell damage if you know how to repair it and sell it, right? I mean, hell damage can be a pain in the ass because you've got a lot of little body work to do, right? It might be worth for you to hire a PDR, but it might be too much work for paintless dent removal, right? So you may have to just sand down the, the area, bondo it up, and repaint the trunk or repaint the roof, whatever it is, right? Me, like I said in the very beginning of this video, try to look for cars where you don't have to put too much work in because you don't have to right? It's the way you look at the deal, okay? You make money on the buy, not on the sale, okay? You buy right. If you buy right, you can sleep well at night because you know you got a deal 
all you have to do is sell it, right? And it is going to sell, even if you had to blow it out. And I get much deeper into all of these strategies in my F1 course. You know, I break it down to the very nitty gritty step-by-step -step action plans. I'll show you exactly how to go from $1,000 to $10,000 in profit within your first car, your first five car flips. All right, I do this. I do it many times over and over and over again. And it's, you can start with a thousand bucks. Give me a thousand bucks and document me. And uh, I mean, it is documented inside of the course. And see how I go from 1,000 to 10,000 in profit in five car flips. You could do the same exact thing. And I have the cheat sheet that I'm gonna give you for that as well. Yes, every Wednesday or Thursday, I'm gonna be doing these live streams. We're gonna get on for about 30 minutes. It's 30 minutes now. Um, if you guys like this, just say thanks, Tony. Loved it. Share it. Um, and just remember, every Thursday around 8 to 9 o'clock Central, 9 to 10 Eastern, I'll get on here for a half hour. We'll do a little bit of this and uh, all that. So while you're here, I have something very, very special for you guys who, who want to take it to the next level. Um, check out this site right now. I'm going to give you a super, super deal on it. If you want to invest, invest. If not, no big deal. You know, it doesn't matter to me. Um, you know, I don't need the extra money. I'm doing fine. But if you want to invest and get the complete VIP program, check this site out. I wanted to do a Father's Day sale, but I've been just so busy. Um, let's see. Let me give you this link here. You got. You don't want to miss this link. <sighs> Okay, you go there, okay, watch the video, watch the two videos on that page, it'll tell you what you're going to be getting uh, in the F1 Auto Cash Formula, How to Buy and Sell Cars course, okay, and then you enter this code, awesome buddy, and then you enter this code, that's why you get on here, we'll get more of your questions answered, um, what was the code, F1 70... Um, I believe that's the code. I believe that's the code. Try putting that code in and it's going to give you an additional $70 off the course. All right. So if you're interested, check that out. Yes, I'm going to be updating the course. It's going to be awesome. A uh, lot of new stuff going on. I'm getting back into the live stream. You know, I've been really, really busy the past couple of years. And uh, it's just, you know, it's crazy. You know, I got, my daughter was born recently uh, with a very rare syndrome. Um, there's only 6,000 cases in the world and she's one of them. I don't want to get into crazy details. Um, yes, I've, I, we have a handful of females flipping cars for profit inside of our F1 Auto Cash Formula program doing very, very well, very well. So check that link out, learn more about it, and use the code F170VIP. Um, that expires on Saturday, but I would check it out today because you know once it's, it's expired, it's going to be expired. So check that out. Anyway, we are going to be closing this out tonight. Thank you so much, guys, for jumping on. I really appreciated this. I thought it was very cool. Um, every Wednesday or Thursday around this time, uh, keep an eye out for the YouTube live stream. You should get a notification if you're subscribed or an email. All right, I'll be sending an email as well to you guys. All right, um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Give me a thumbs up. Hit like. Share the video. Uh, and I'll see you soon, all right? Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Cheers.